Hello everyone, this is an updated version of my craft room. This is the first time ever after I moved uh, from the old house into the craft room. We'll start off in this corner. I have a picture of my dad and that was Tiger. He passed away in November 15th of 2021 of last year. So we got a new dog, Angel. She's the same breed, a Maltese. But anyway, this is my craft room. Let me introduce you to the stuff that I use. I use, sometimes use the, these tools up here for jewelry making, mainly necklaces and bracelets and some or ornament hooks. And this is the printer for my uh, photos. And down here is just a lot of accessories and stuff, a lot of beads. A lot of ribbons, more beads. This whole shelf, I filled it with nothing but beads, mainly. I want to do something with these boxes, probably paint them over to a no nicer color and uh, to redo them. So this is it. This is uh, this thing my dad and I put together right before we moved in this house. This is a Michael's um, drawer. Or, and in it, I just have some random stuff and some stickers, some stuff, patterns, directions, my paper, gather paper. And then here I have more beads in these containers, as you can see, some fabric, Chanel sticks. Some more beads, some wood tracers for artwork, and uh, some more accessories, some yarn over here. I, I was big into yarn when I first started out. I need to do better organizing over here, but I did donate a lot of stuff. That's my bead box and some displays. My brother got me for Christmas one year, the photo organizer, I got this one. He got the pillow. I use that one for like a display. And here's my uh, cinch for a small binding machine. This was my mother's sewing kit. There's on top. I saved the hollow light. It still works. So I can use that for other projects and more bracelets that I've done. These are my books. I had these books since I was a youngster. I kept it, almost all of my favorite ones and got rid of a lot of ones that I didn't like. This is the, my big binding machine. Since we don't sell no more mannequin heads, this is the one I required. She's very good for the necklace, but it doesn't really work well for me. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Then I got the big shop. This cuts these type of, you know, I can make keychains out of this. So it'll be no problem to do. Uh, these are all my sewing books. I got the bean reamer. This is to uh, make the holes bigger on your beads. This costs about a hundred bucks, but it's well worth it because it makes the holes a little bit bigger. And I got my other mannequin head for my hats and stuff. So these are all my sewing books from cross stitch to knitting crochet pattern books. Uh, history books about the beads and stuff or I'm uh, learning about African beads and of course more diet books so a lot of dieting and money talks and of course religious books children's books I, I like collecting a lot of children's books and anyway, welcome to my eBay store this sh special shelf in my craft room is for eBay I haven't yet posted this one online, but this is going to go back up for sale. I posted all of this online, except for the red and blue. I, I need to take more pictures. I already did the keychains. I have two sets, the African map and the cross. And uh, this is necklaces and cheap bracelets and more expensive necklaces. Some, uh, some of the earrings that I just did. This is my special Betty Boob earrings. This is the special Jamaican mangle rustic necklace with a gold ball. I have a lot of my fancy um, 
bracelets and stuff. More fancy bracelets. Some fancy bracelets. This is my newest necklace I haven't shown yet. Down here is the earrings. I need to post that soon. And the necklace I made for a tutorial online. And over here is where I have my desk and computer. And um, I moved the big shelf out of here and put the computer over here. And anyway, I have my sewing table. I know it's very messy, but that's what happens when you're creative. You get a little messy and you forget to clean up everything. But these are the ones that I have to redo and uh, things like that. So my mom's old cutter, this was her. She kept changing the blades all the time to make it nice and sharp. My disposable gloves I got from my mom. And uh, these are my Adding Express, the small. I, my, my counter finally died. As you can see, it doesn't work anymore. Trying to touch it, and the, this one still works. Oh, wow. But this one did not, so. So when I touch it, it didn't go off. This one, I guess this one still has a little bit of life in it. That's amazing. Anyway, I have nothing underneath the table. Some boxes that I'm going to use soon. My paint is over here. Some more tools, jewelry, more craft supply. My create a sticker, label maker. This, I have uh, cross stitch floss, embroidery floss, some yarn, some more cross stitch, and just random stuff. On the desk, a little messy. I'm always getting inspired. And that's about it. There's a full craft room tour. This was taken after I organized it. But nothing's really changed. I get kind of messy when I'm creative. And here is the new light box for my jewelry. This little light box was my friend Jamie's idea. And I invested in this one to um to to do the jewelry to taking photos of the smaller items and stuff so i have some of the photographs everything i do it right here on the floor i have like a plug back there and anyway that's about it so here it is i'm losing my voice i guess um anyway it is uh nice tuesday afternoon we're almost father's day is almost here this is an update tour of the room from side to side this is the full tour here you go i'll stand over here so you can see it and here it is that's the room this is where i work every day all right thank you all for visiting don't forget to like and subscribe and um, talk to y'all in, in, in another video. Bye, everybody.